take a trip back in time, back to a simpler time, back to the days of nap time, green eggs and ham, and best of all, arts and crafts. One, two, three, eyes on me. We're heading back to kindergarten. All right, class, it's arts and crafts time. Please take out the paper that was given to you when you first came in. First, you're going to take the paper and fold it along the diagonal of the paper. So you fold the corner down and then fold it backwards and keep doing that till you get all the way down to the other corner. Am I doing this right? Yes, you are. What if it comes out ugly? It doesn't matter. Once you're done with the first one, you're going to do the same to the other paper. Wait, you're going too fast. Better catch up. Once you have done that, you're going to take both of the papers and put them together and pinch the center. And then you're going to take your pipe cleaner and wrap it around the center. And twist the top for your antenna. After you have done that, you're going to take the top wings and spread them out. I'll spread my wings and I'll learn how to fly. Let's stick to these wings. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's not as pretty as yours. Every butterfly is different, just like snowflakes. Then you have your butterfly. <laughs> Thank you, staff, students, community members, Greg Rural, and the class of 2016. My name is Celia Del Castillo. My name is Sheila Figueroa. And my name is Jasmine Medina. And, and this, this is, is our senior, senior talk. talk. When I was in kindergarten, I never wanted a nap during nap time. Instead, I was more interested in making flowers out of blocks. I have always wanted to learn how to paint and play the drums, but unfortunately, my parents couldn't provide any art classes for me. What kind of activities did you want to do when you were a kid? Rosa? I want to play the Michael? I want to learn how to draw. Ms. Shafi? I wanted to do origami. What about you, Celia? I wanted to learn to paint. And you, Shayla? I wanted to learn ballet. These are the kind of opportunities that the arts can provide for everyone. Our service learning project was providing this sort of opportunity to children in our community. That is why we volunteer with arts, a reason to survive. Arts provides many opportunities for children to learn how to paint do, and do other extracurricular activities at little to no cost. This is because arts and crafts encourages creative thinking. Different areas of the brain respond to different kinds of art forms, like music, visual arts, and dance. 
Neuroscientists have even proven that art can help child development by improving motor skills, language development, decision making, visual learning, attentiveness, and cultural awareness. We noticed that most schools in Southeast, in Southeast San Diego don't have a lot of strong art programs, and some don't have any art classes at all. When we were in elementary school, none of us had very many opportunities to take art classes. That is why we wanted to work with an organization that gives a benefit of arts education to children regardless of what school they attend or how much money their parents have. Arts is a nonprofit organization dedicated to providing, supporting, and advocating for programs that heal, inspire, and empower youth facing adversity. Arts believes all youth need and deserve opportunities to express themselves and define who they are in order to live healthy and fulfilled lives, which in turn create healthy and vibrant communities. As we volunteered with Arts, we understood the organization's beliefs in wanting to help the youth. We have spent countless hours assisting artists, traveling to different schools, and helping them make their community better by making beautiful murals and mosaic art. Matt DiRigo, the creator of this organization, has had many hardships in life. At the age of 19, Matt's mother died. He had locked himself up in his room and shut the world out. His escape? Art. Painting and music were Matt's refuge, giving him a reason to survive. Just as the arts helped Matt through one of the most difficult times of his life, he aspired to provide the same opportunity to children facing their own personal crisis. In 2001, Matt founded arts on his belief that art can heal and transform lives. Although we were inspired by this organization and we wanted to be a part of it, it was way more difficult than we assumed it was going to be. It was a shock to us how complicated it actually was to volunteer at this place. TV tests, life scans, age requirements. Because we were not yet 18, they didn't let us work with the kids at first. The first time we went to volunteer, we were assigned to clean. Was this really what we were going to talk about for 20 minutes in front of the whole school? I don't think so. Although we were disappointed that we weren't working directly with the kids, we realized that sometimes the best way you can help an organization is by cleaning up and helping with paperwork. Often they have enough people to help with the art part, but the area they need most help on is after all the fun. We spent our day cleaning paintbrushes, sweeping the woodwork room, and prepping for upcoming classes. One day when we were done, the ceramics teacher at Arts, Albert, invited us to make our own little ceramics piece. He taught us the basic techniques of ceramics and talked about his time at Arts. He told, us, he told us about a new project he was working on at Castle Park Middle School, a mural. He said he was going to include the whole community. We thought this would be the perfect opportunity to volunteer and get feedback from the community. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we would go to Castle Park Middle School in Chula Vista. We worked with Albert, along with other students in South Bay Community Services. We went to paint the panels that make up the larger mural on campus. Albert had done a rough outline with blue paint and the real outline with black. We helped by covering up the blue with white paint to only leave the black outline. We did this so that when the community came, they wouldn't be confused as to which lines they stay in. We spent many hours in the hot sun trying to make it look clean and ready for them. Eventually, it all turned out to be a really amazing experience. Take a look at how the event turned out. Personally, it's it's beautiful.
beautiful to see everybody work together on this. It, it really gives that gives you that sense of community. Normally, being an artist, I'm usually doing things on my own. Everything is all about what I do, what I like, what I prefer. But um, I did my best to for this project to make it accessible to everybody to be able to contribute and work on. And seeing everybody just putting their time and effort into it, it just hits you inside, it's nice, it doesn't make you feel good, I'm getting chills. Because it's just like one of those things where I always wanted to be a part of something and being able to provide, at least, if I can't be a part of something, at least provide uh, an opportunity for people to be part of something, you know, that's that's okay too, that's, that's, that's my goal, so I'm glad for that, so. Albert told us that while he was brainstorming with students from Castle Park on what the painting should be, he received comments on who Cesar Chavez was and how they thought he was a boxer and not a civil rights activist. We realized that we ourselves didn't know our own history and what exactly Cesar Chavez did. The first thing we did when we got home was watch the documentary Cesar's Last Fast. Mexicans came to America for a better future and farming was the only job they can get as undocumented citizens. Not only did farming not make ends meet, but it also left farm workers in dangerous situations where their life expectancies were shortened because of exposure to dangerous working conditions. Cesar Chavez wanted to make a change. He dedicated his life to improving treatment, pay, and working conditions for farm workers around the country. The day the community came, we were instructing kids on how to paint, showing them what colors to use where, and answering any questions they had. A man walked up to me and asked me if he can paint a grape. At the time, I didn't think about it, so all I said, yes, of course. And I gave him a paintbrush and a cup with paint. He only painted one, just one, and started to walk away. I stopped him and told him he could paint more, but he said no. One was just enough. <coughs> I thought it was odd, and I was curious to why he had said this. So I asked him what it meant to him, and this is what he said. Hi, I'm Kevin Beiser. I'm a teacher at Castle Park Middle School. Uh, I remember when I was a little boy up in Oregon, I remember in the grocery store, my mom said, we can't buy grapes anymore because we wanted to support the strike down in California. And I'll never forget that. I asked why, and I learned a lot more about the struggle of Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta. Today, I'm glad and proud that we honored and supported the workers in the fields. So, si se puede. This really stood out to me, and I thought it was really interesting, because a simple grape meant so much to this man. Grapes were an important part of his past. Something so simple, like the mural, can have so much meaning in someone's life. That is when I understood why the mural wasn't only about Cesar Chavez, but many others as well. There are many things people do not know about their culture, that painting a mural gives them a different perspective and a chance to learn about the past. This was a huge learning experience for both the community and us, and I'm really glad we got to be a part of it. On April 2nd, Jasmine and I went to the Art Center to participate in the kickball cookout. At first, we were there to help set up to make sure the game would go smoothly. I didn't think I was going to be able to play because I was not enrolled in the arts program. I was only a volunteer. It took me by surprise when the staff and even the students encouraged me to join the game, so I did. It was one of the most fun and eye-opening things. Everyone was incredibly friendly and had made me feel welcomed, even though I had just met them. This was really representative of the camaraderie between everyone. I mean, it is pretty obvious when someone doesn't necessarily do well, whether that be kicking the ball softly or sending the ball the wrong way, but that didn't matter to the people who were playing. All they cared about was having fun, and that really is what's more important. Knowing what I know now, I wish I had this sort of outlet or sense of community when I was going through my own depression. I would definitely recommend this program to anyone going through a hard time because arts truly does care and truly wants you to get better. This impacted me in a positive way 
because it inspired me to encourage people to do the things they love the most. <laughs> Even if they aren't that great at it. In conclusion, although we were discouraged at first by, the, by all the obstacles we faced, such as having no transportation, the application process, and not being able to work with kids at first, it was all worth it in the end. This experience, in one way or another, changed us all for the better. The arts opened up my eyes to see that everyone is fighting their own battle, and the little things they do to brighten up their day really shows how determined kids are to have a better and brighter future for themselves. It inspired all of us to do better because growing up in Southeast San Diego was set with low expectations. Yet all three of us standing up here on this stage will be attending a four-year university this fall. We also hope to inspire kids to let them know that it is possible and to not let these negative stereotypes hold them back from achieving their dreams, whatever that may be. If you are interested in being a part of the program, it is not too late to apply. You can, um, they take people from ages five to 19. You do have to be enrolled in school and you do, do need a referral from a teacher, doctor, or therapist. If you are not interested in enrolling, apply, uh, volunteer, literally, anything helps. They also have this beautiful furniture made by the kids at the arts program. As you can see, they're original and they're not that expensive. If you are interested in taking home one of these lovely pieces, please contact me or any of my group members. Arts is a year-round program that is most definitely worthy of your time and even your money if you are willing to donate. And, and this, this concludes, concludes our senior, senior talk. talk.